250. A couple of Hondas peeking through up front. Looks like the 20 of Justin Barchamp in the GPs of Europe last year, making his debut in U.S. Motocross. Title. Here is your leader, Justin Barsha. Grab the whole shot. The number 70 of Ken Roxon not going anywhere. Hands to the lead here at Hangtown on the outside. Ken Roxon on the 70. Tries to outbreak Justin Barsha. 2011 World Championship champion has now came here to the U.S. No, I'm sorry. Blake Baggett turned to 205. 205. Three tenths of a second back. Here's your battle. Barsha on the number 20 got to the inside, then Roxon gets him back, and Barsha to the inside again. Now Roxon tries to re-square up, wow. and they come together. Actually was a little quicker at the end of that lap, has closed back in. So all three riders of Barsha, and they're about to get the white flag. And they're all over the seven hits. Everybody on the web and Fuel TV are witnessing the epic battle here. Any one of these three can win. Look at back and around the outside. Fans coming to life here. And it pays off a long way around, but he makes the move. Two times all the way up to the front here. Ken Roxon had a little breathing. Oh, showing a wheel to Baggett. Will he make the pass? They scrub the jump together to Ben. Oh, the fans are just going crazy. Almost over the bars. Baggett around the outside. Here he He's goes. got the momentum. He's a pander. Roxon's got to beat him to it. He can't. Roxon tries it. to square him up. Roxon has got to be a little bit shocked. He had this one for so long. Too little, too late. An unbelievable charge. Blake Baggett wins lap of the first moto, and he is your winner. And it's the 20 and the 70 again. The same riders who are up front in Moto 1. Fourth in Moto 1. And this time Baggett already trying to make moves. Goes after Roxon. And you do not want to do that in the first lap. Look how many riders got by him. Probably on the today. Let's see what the reigning world almost goes down. And Tomac is in it. 17. Oh. Will Hahn. Our leaders, Justin Barshaw, the number 20, and the number 12 of Blake Baggett. 22 minutes plus two laps left in this moto, this second moto. Getting, as we say, he is feeling the flow right now. Almost a little early for Baggett to be going for the lead. Lex is often looked at as a team battle, and it's often these two teams that are fielding the top riders. Go! There's Baggett. Trying to hold the inside sides, or he leaves this inside open, and there goes Baggett to wow. the lead. There comes Barsha right back, though. He's going to have to pick up on Baggett's line because, you know, Baggett has a race ended, and I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Baggett's got this one for sure because they have Blake Baggett who has won the overall here at Hangtown. Our first race and our second, Blake Baggett makes the math easy. He wins. Barsha and Roxon this time. Is it the 136 with a whole shot? You bet. It I want to watch is Phil Nicoletti in the 715 oh, to the inside and takes the lead. Hold off Roxon and Muscan, and then it's the 17 of Eli Tomac. You know, but when you're out here battling for the checkered flag, and that's Nelson taking the lead. Oh, he was 12th at the end of lap one. There goes Tomac getting around the outside and makes the move for third on Nicolet. Still leads, but Roxon has been caught by Tomac. Tomac on a charge here. He, first uh, pro race, he was one of those rookies that came out, set the world on fire. Tech was Roxon's rookie ride here. In the United States, yeah. Yeah, in the U.S. So, oh, and oh, Tomac. Basically with just a hand on the bars, losing the lead there to Tomac. Tomac is on a mission right now. You can imagine what, th what that's like, but you can see he definitely has plenty of strength and able to hold on. Sure. You know, we know their dad, John, did some gnarly stuff on a mountain bike, obviously. Oh, he's Whoa! jumping into it out. The Jumping into the 12 pack. We haven't seen that up Woo! above the Lucas Oil. You're going to go from here up to about here. So it looks like Barsha has pushed him back to sixth. That's still a great ride. Oh, Whoa! look at that. Oh, wow. over jumped it a little bit that time. And once again, Baggett doing the damage. Didn't have the great start. Didn't see him up front or the lap. There he goes. Just dances down the inside. Roxon going to try to keep it low. Still doesn't matter. Baggett has secured the number two spot. Two years after Texas cooked Eli Tomac, he comes back and cooks up a win. Results, Baggett finishes second. Eli Tomac takes the win. Ken Rocks and Justin Marshall. Whoa, 
couple riders tangling up down the start stretch. A bunch of these Suzuki riders down in that pile. The other one is up front. That's the 950. There's Wharton. So a lot of the riders we expected to be up front. The riders who are up front in the first mode. It is showing. Here we are through that Texas Pell Pack. There is Tomac. Fifth, rather. Can he pull the same tricks? Here he goes on the inside of Anderson. Fearless right there. Wow. Made it happen. And actually, those, this is just difficult, rough, nasty, gnarly racing, and i got to get used to that again. Yeah, and you wouldn't know it, but I believe that's the 44 of Jason Anderson. Front number plate gone. Who is the other? Eli Tomac, who has now caught Blake Wharton, and we're ready to hook to the inside. Makes well, it look easy. easy. Yeah. <laughs> right around the outside, Jeff. Not giving up. Switches back up on him. Wharton. Nicely done. And here, watch Tomac. He's back on the throttle again. Makes it stick this time around. I think it might be able to stick that number 12 bike in there and make a pass. Look at this. Three different lines of this section. It is right there as well. All three riders in the corner at the same time. Whoa, and Roxon holds his and jumps going to slow him down, and Anderson will beat him to the corner again. Oh. The two get together. They trade a little paint. Roxon, a tough place to race. There he goes. Oh, and he goes down. Oh, he knifed to the inside. But Roxon lost some time there. Now back it goes to work. And he goes right around Anderson. Oh, there's not much room. Baggett's going to try to make it happen. No, Wharton shuts the door. If he yielded to him, and just took a solid third. Oh, he missed oh, the, the triple. triple. Oh, what That's happened? It. Eli Tomac, a dominant win here at Freestone. Go on, the team's got to be happy as well. They've got two riders of him and Marsh in the thick of this championship. Tomac takes the win. Baggett, Wharton, as we mentioned, on the podium. Roxon fourth and combined the scores from the first and second races today. Ken Roxon is leading the point standings right now, but look at how tight it is back there. Roxon, Tomac, Marsha. Some riders going to use some roll-offs. You have the race in the 250s. And he's back to his old tricks. Justin Barsha has got the whole shot side of the next turn. It'd be a, re a real guessing game. Some of the riders like Phil. I'm not sure why normally. But on a muddy track like this, it's probably pretty obvious. The rookie, first pro season for him. Oh, Baggett has made the move on to Desco. That's but nice save, but it looks like Baggett is yeah, around the outside. Advantage of that every time. Oh, wait a minute. Now Baggett goes down himself. Any point in this race, we're just about to the halfway mark in a 30 minute plus two lap moto. You're right now. Well, now the thing that I like about uh, Roxon Here he goes. is that he's, he's now. Kind of gauge it, you know, you got out there, you, you look for the line, if it works, next point. Time. 13th, last time we saw him, that's seven passes, and I guarantee you, he'll go. Now here's what uh, Tomac was dealing with, and this is what set him so far back. The race, Jeff. This is, uh, oh, this is the turn just before the finish. So uh, I'm sure that he had some great advice here to uh, Justin Barsha, who's got a lot of talent. Don't worry about that later. Right now he's focused on this. Justin Barsha takes a moto win. Goes down the line, Baggett really dug deep, and Roxon had had a crash, but Baggett was not able to get class. Might be the 58 of Will Hahn. Go to the inside of the green bike. And that is Barsha. Justin Barsha. 70. He was the one that challenged Barsha throughout much of the first race today, and he's in for him after he had that great start, possibly even the whole shot. And he's got Woods. Probably don't have time to read that in a battle like this, though. Definitely not. Even his tear offs. Oh! Tedesco, a little mistake, and that's going to allow Baggett to the inside. The line scrubs the rollers. Woo! Tomac by Tedesco. Here comes Tomac on the inside. Muscan takes a look over. It's been Muscan. Yeah. He's been a little bit off the pace. He's kind of isolated himself in fifth. Just had Baggett it. did in the opener, just like his teammate Eli Tomac did in round two one week ago. Fourth, Tomac, who's two tenths quicker than Baggett and almost a second quicker than your leader. So, who won the overall earlier here today? This is the competition. Makes a run. It looks like he's going to try to make a pass. Barsha is able to respond. And now Rock, when he can get away, here comes Baggett around the outside. Oh, Roxon gets in. High side. Ride where you aren't, as they say. He can just find lines. Although, here comes Roxon. Going to try to get him. Here comes. That's super confident. There it is. And he is on it. Look at the clock at the top of the screen. Putting his Kawasaki wherever he wants to. And that's going to put it into the lead. Yeah. He's going to fight back. And Barsha's on the inside of this next corner. And Barsha's not looking to move over up back into cover the line. 
Drag race. It's a drag race up to the first turn. Marsha guards the inside. Outside. Back a little cleaner through that corner. That takes, takes him high. high. Where he shines. Can Barsha respond? Can he take that challenge? Short line. That'll change things drastically. Here goes Roxanne and he makes the pass. Barsha going to try to come back. No more. Uh, Mitch Payton is um, he's such a overall win. It might just be the moto win. Blake Baggett wins the second moto here. They just go back to the overall victory lane for the first time since 2009. Oh, and he's, he's, battling. he's battling. He goes for the pass. Or Bam Bam's going for the pass. You go Bam Bam on Marsha. He's usually going to come out on top, and he did. It looks uber pumped about winning uh, the overall because he did know that Baggett did get by him, but Marsha just edging out Baggett. Tomac put in two solid runs after bad starts today, but will come up and, just uh, Yeah, he could be a player today. Alex Martin on that 1110 Mods Honda will make him. Let's go racing here in the 250s. He might, Jeff. He's on the inside. Battling it out with Will Hahn and Justin Barsha. It looks like Hahn on the 58 is going to beat them into turn two. Barsha and Martin now going after his teammate Hahn for the lead. How about this? How but the second moto, he gave up the lead and somehow managed to get the overall there when it all came down. Bike right now. And see all that dirt flying around. Oh, oh Tedesco makes mistake. a spot. Tomac goes around his way through the pack and he says, it's almost like I'm just riding at ease, but he's battle. Tomac, Roxon, and Baggett. Okay, let's watch right here. Let's see Baggett. Watch Whoa. all the way. About, oh, about three and a half. Right around the outside. Whoa, Keeps the front wheel high. It's a drag oh. race. I can, looking to pass his teammate side by side up the hill. And don't forget third place, Blake Baggett. A little bit. They try to block Baggett. And Baggett. It's going to still work him around the edge. He closes it right back up, but that was the passing spot. Okay, passing spot. Man, these two have really upped the pace. They've got Barsha in their sights. I don't. And he's got it. Justin Barsha wins moto number one. Tomac. Front like that. Yeah, get a little something to spare. Yeah, Jason, so that was it. He lost about the gate any longer. It's time to go racing. Baggett with an actual good start. When was the last time we saw that? Going to sweep through the inside, get it from him. Looks like you got Alex Martin and Barsha right there. The 250 class. Oh, Barsha. Oh, Barsha. Going to try to go bam, to the Oh, together kicking the bike sideways, and Barsha takes over the number two spot. Correct in the beginning, but now we have Tomac, who is second photo one, up to seven. And now it's closed the gap up on Roxon. He's going to try to leave Baggett behind and go for the lead now and not wait. Inside line, they're going to come together. Barsha able to slam the door. Roxanne's on that outside line that was so strong in the first moto. Wow, hey. that the lead group had. Oh, there goes Tomac to the inside. Buscan, Justin Barsha, and Blake Baggett duking it out for second. Baggett has got the number two spot. They are going to make it any easier. They're because not making they're it easy on each other. Look at this, Tomac. See, now what you don't want to see is any rough riding or anybody taking each other Whoa. out. Baggett down off the track trying to get back up. He had just crashed about a lap ago. What? Baggett again? down again. Either that or slid out. Didn't look like he was picking. Position switch as Tomac takes over second within about three seconds of Roxon. And that certainly. Here it is. The white flag is coming out. And Tomac is right behind Roxon. Roxon trying to win his first moto of his career in this championship. Tomac is where Tomac passed. Marsha for second. Oh, he's got a lot of lines picked out, including that one. There's the same spot. Are Eli you Tomac. kidding me? Eli Tomac. What is this? I mean, one of the best rides you've ever seen from Tomac. No. One of the best rides we've ever seen from anyone. Eli Tomac wins high point. An unbelievable charge. Big Marcia. smile on yeah. Eli's face. Yeah. Yeah. Make a ride. And he still was able to get them. And he looked fantastic when he took off his helmet. It Eli Tomac with 2-1 scores wins. Barsha, his teammate, second overall. Great day for Geico Brown on your points leader, mm. Blake Baggett. Now it's down to just seven between he and Barsha. Tomac and Blake Boxer, right of course, there. had a good result earlier this year. But uh, Anderson Fitness, his fitness seems to be better. Anything can happen. Let's go racing. Battling forward to the first turn. Looks like a 70. Martin, the privateer on the 1110 Mods Honda. And Barsha right with him. Yeah, I, I believe that was Alex. He comes around in 13th. Off, the, off that start, and this year... Stupid, because he knows, uh, like Tomek, he can reel that leader in. A little more than number 70, Tiffany. Well, Jamie, you were mentioning how this is under, he's actually been here since Thursday. He got to ride this track on the media press day. Now, 
Yeah, but with Baggett, uh, he's he doesn't have to worry about passing anybody right now because of his comment. But he says it's a very different area coming to the you know, the American Championship. And look at that launch from Tomac. He is doing oh, oh. everything he can to beat Muscat. He's able to pull out a little bit. Varsha is able to respond and close back up. And by the 70, and look how close back it is as well, Jamie. Yeah, told you the minute. He, and he's doing it here almost 25 minutes into the race. Guys should be tired at this point here. There's no way these three guys are getting tired right now. They just got the biggest yeah. suggestion. That is part of the track. Woo! And the AMA stated this year that if go, Barsha to the right. It's going to be the outside line, and he scrubs right wow. in front, putting the pass on with authority. <laughs> Did you see the style, too? Wow. Wow. The <laughs> buzz on these buzz. <laughs> uh oh, oh, Baggett going by Roxanne as well, so just like that. <laughs> well, it's experience right now, and you want to see how he handles it right there. Baggett feet off the peg. Varsha and the 12 of Baggett. Whoa! Uh oh. Huge lead punch. He's out of the picture. <laughs> And now it's between these two, duking it out. And you know what, for right now in these closing laps. Look at this, look at this line here that Baggett has trying to get to the end in different positions here. Now Barsh is trying to protect the lead. Baggett's the one that's in the middle. And thought that Roxon was done in this one, but he is the aggressor in this battle. And I know what you're saying, that the lead to left and then straightened out. This track has it all. But man, come that second moto, he needs to get a grip of this race and just... It's all over Baggett to the finish. Three straight first moto wins. For wow. Barsha and Roxon! Point was not able to get Marvin Muscan back and get that fourth place position, so that's a big break. Oh. That's gonna be Ivan Tedesco! Hot sauce, the veteran! Gonna grab the swan and pool on the Yamaha was down, and there's a change for the lead! Tedesco gives KTM riders. <laughs> That's a great start for these guys. Roxon straight. Wait a minute. Tomac is already on the scene. And no, down. down. That is Tedesco. His right leg. So we hope Ivan's all right. Back up front. Look at Tomac. Not be enough to overcome Roxon in the overall with Barsha back in fifth. Sift quickly. It, it could be, but I spoke with Justin Barsha earlier today, and I'm telling you, he is so fired up. <laughs> so far, but he's got El Chupacabra back there trying to take a bite out of it. Yes. Let's see if Baggett can oh beat it. Oh my goodness. Got to the line first. Wow. I mean, we're going to be looking in these final two laps at a heads up. Yeah, and, and that last lap. Of and just like that, the blink of an eye. A massive shakeup here at Bud's Creek. Lap traffic. ATM getting lap does not move out of the way. The blue flags have been flying. Stays direct Go to the right, the outside line, as Tapia looking back, but still not getting out the overall here today. Wow. That's got to absolutely be devastating. Oh, figured it out. And Blake Baggett is going to win your moto and your overall on Bucks Creek. Let's show you the results here of our second 250 moto. Tomac <laughs> is able to get around Muscan to a consistent well, day. And after third at the first four races, he's moved up to second. Yeah, so that's what happens. Suddenly, Barsha goes back to 13 in arrears of Baggett, just based on uh, that Ritchie, the Ritchie family, of course, the owners and operators of uh, this facility. And this track's been around. Five guys in the hunt, and every star is just action packed. And, and I think that's the 38, the Frenchman, in the top five. So it's on right now. Muscan, he's kind of been the next in line with that. that. That's real tough. I mean, hats off to all these guys. Pass for the lead. Barsha, he was pretty frustrated at the end of the day, even though he had won the first motos. After the leader. Watch this, he's to the inside. Oh, tried to make the move, Tomac able to shut the door. You don't tell the blonde pit reporter who works for NBC <laughs> that you, you're running into this little short. It just, it, it, I was saying earlier, it knocks a bunch of weight off the bike, and obviously... Class on the Lucas Oil Pro Moto Cross Championship. Blake Baggett around the outside of Ken Roxon. Gets to the inside in the next corner and takes over third. So he split them now. He's got one. Wednesday is UFC Fight Night on Fuel TV. Begin with live pre Nunos versus Weidman. That's Wednesday at 7 Eastern on Fuel TV. Right now, I think he's pretty sick, but sick in a good way, not <laughs> sick as in. Uh, and I do know is that Baggett has now stepped it up into the 208, and Barsha is tough. I think. He's mentally tough, but now he's going to jump into the left, uh, but uh, just didn't quite have the drive. And this is another section where Baggett going to try to go to the inside. Barsha got the long way around. Oh, oh, Baggett makes a mistake. Job holding him off and also threading the needle through traffic. Wow. You see the, uh, in, in the line of the lapper, it's going to allow 
everywhere they go. There are lap riders to contend with. Now back into the outside. Oh. He's right there. Championship in the 250 class. Back it around the outside, trying to get Marsha again. Can really want to. Okay, and you guard the insides. So far, so good. Going way wide. See, back at trying, trying to run the outside here through these off -hand. Oh, oh he pushed it down no. to dry. Kevin oh. Tide expecting to see Barsha cutting down to the right. He made the, de the decision. Dude. Blake Baggett, an exclamation point on it, wins the first moto here. The only way we know is by insane. He didn't look it. I think he's brainwashed. Yeah, yeah but you notice how. Oh, no. Here's your keys to the race, Jeff. Hey, you got to get the whole shot, too. Here we go. <laughs> I think that's Jesse Nelson. Remember, the rookie was pulling some strong starts on the Lucas Oil. On the Geico Honda? Yes, yeah. it is. Han, sixth in, motor number one. He is up and running. He is determined to get that 1-1 one -one for today. Oh, already got this game. Got a bad break while trying to pass a lapper. Ended up, uh, Baggett went by just as Baggett. So quick. Barsha needs to do the same thing. And now there he goes around the outside wow. to Jesse Nelson. the first race. And yes, he does. Actually, I spoke to so, him. Wow, Barsha got around Han and now Nelson. He's in second, and you said it's up to Barsha to respond, Jeff. Those uh, unbelievable, legendary. Oh, we have a change for the lead. Wow. Just and uh, with the lead, makes a little mistake. Uh, falls over. Oh. Right now, so far, Justin Barsha's love in Moto2. Didn't quite like how it played. Battle is on here for the lead. Blake Baggett all over Justin Barsha, trying to get the number one spot. Here through the sand whoops. It's a drag race. No Barsha. Hangs on. Well, Bar Door open for Baggett. Outside usually sweeps around pretty good. Not this time. Baggett's gonna. All this is right. what he does. Yep, that's what he does. You know what? Now it's on, Bar uh, it's on Baggett. But it's hard when he rides at this speed because he just seems to take it to another level. He did last year. Yeah, he won this race last year. He wins it again this year. Blake Baggett, only match 250 class, now has Baggett winning three out of six rounds as he begins 2 2. That was pretty easy to figure out. Tomac able to edge out Muske. This guy's starting to separate himself. Yeah, well, you look at the points right here. They're at 19. Nastic Moto. But they're all challenging. Like Baggett. Pro circuit. <laughs> yeah. Monster. It's like one of the Geico Honda riders. Oh, he's up front. And yeah. it is. And uh, Alex Martin, who we uh, saw at the start of the uh, Star Racing Valley. Rockstar Yamaha. I forgot which one of those Yamaha riders laps this year, but it's had several wins rip, ripped away from him. On him. Here we go. <laughs> Battle for the lead, and Roxon gets to the inside. Yamaha, the rookie, has been pulling some great starts as of late, was in the top 10 last. And Barsha, who's going to make a pass first here? Hard to say. Well, those sand whoops are just kind of caught in a Geico Honda. Vice grip right now. He's got a rider right in front. Got the lead. Well, and it's all about intensity, too. We We've seen this season. Weimer is able to catch up. If that happens here, Baggett will definitely be in this. Look at Tomac going to the inside. Give me the number four spot. Especially through the sand whoops as he has now caught Tomac. Oh, this is unbelievable. He's on the move here in Minnesota. And similar to what happened to Roxon. Remember Roxon? to get a new line and carry some momentum. He gets the front wheel over one of them. Is it enough? Woo! Barely able to keep it on the track and somehow able to maintain the same pace. Starts to flutter the valves and it really starts to back up. He is doing a great job to phase him. He just stays right in it. He is showing that he is physically tough. Here goes Roxon trying to make a move for the lead. Side, even though he used the outside to his advantage. Oh, Roxon makes a mistake. 250 riders on the planet. He's gotten past Tomac. He's gotten past Roxon. Call for Eli Tomac. Major panic rev. All right, so two battles to Wagon. I know he does this every week, but it's no less spectacular to watch. Each pulled that jump where Chad Reed threw it all away last year. Now this big uphill jump off camber. If you get the wheel on him, you can just completely push him out. Tomac trying to figure out a way around Barsha. He is caught back up. Like, like I was saying, Jason, talking a mistake. They cannot just let him go by because speed-wise, he's, he, he's got a handle. Well, Baggett's trying to search for a way around Barsha. Look at that. Tomac almost running into the back of Baggett. Pull themselves back up into this lead battle. This is really intense right now. In this group, he is looking for ways around Baggett. And Baggett goes to the inside. Takes wow. it from Barsha. That was an unbelievable surge, Jason. Let's see if they can retaliate. Because if not, by Blake Baggett. 
Look at Tomac leaping into that corner. He's doing everything he can. Blake Baggett continues to lead here. An unbelievable charge from about eight has put him into the number one. Yeah. What a what a comeback. Blake Baggett wins again. A stirring comeback. And, and you see when he crossed the finish line there, he looked back not only to check the checkered flag, but you will show you the results here from the first moto. Barsha and Tomac put their Hondas up on the podium Two just get underway. Oh, Baggett getting bumped around in the first turn. Just able to keep it on two. Another whole shot here. Whoa. Barsha, Tomac set second. Whoa, Barsha almost goes down. Lost the foot. It looks like that's going to be just enough to rattle him and his teammate, Eli Tomac. Number two spot. Tomac third in Moto One. We uh, challenge it, but. Baggett has found a way. I mean, he finds like... As good as it could possibly be, they're just amazed at what Baggett's able to do. Yeah, but the, but the similarity, the yep. times he would be and other times he wasn't. And so I think that that's the type of coaching. Yeah, and here goes Baggett. Whoa! Are you kidding me? End of the day for both of them right there. And, and you scare Barsha. You but, and periodically this year, Tomac has showed brilliant speed. Out of nowhere, outside of the top 20, Tomac comes through, passes back, and it rather effortlessly. Uh-oh, he's around the outside. This would give him the inside. Oh, I thought Tomac had him covered. Tomac's going to try to rail the outside and hold him up. Stays back on the throttle. Telling you, these guys don't like seeing this happen. Like Baggett. And now it would force Baggett into, you know, a different mode to try him into a mistake. Oh, Baggett to the inside. Whoa, Slams it. Takes the line away. A rare aggressive. Tomek tried to get it back in Moto 1. Couldn't get around Barsha. What the physical fitness is of these riders if they ride at this level of intensity. 30. Once it's down to zero and the leader comes around. Oh, oh back it's down. down. Advantage. Look at the back of the bike, Jeff. Yeah, back of the bike. The rear fender is bent. Comes over this. Oh, he leans the bike over. Just slides out a little bit. Woo! Rear fender. For going out and actually winning the moto. And uh, that is going to give uh, Eli a Has got himself his third overall win of the year. He takes Spring Creek. Anything, and it pays off. He turns in an overall win. Nope. Blake Wharton, a good job by the Rockstar Racing Suzuki to finish in fifth. Muscan, that team, they're going to go 1 2 today with Tomac and Barsha. Baggett, that fourth place finish hard. Uh, as Barsha mentioned, he makes up one on Baggett. So he was 19 points down, now he's 18. 25 is the class he wanted to be in. And now that someone's paying the bills, he can do it. Oh, you got that right. Uh, no one. And it's Moostan leading them through turn one. That's going to be quite a bit different than the last time they rode in qualifying practice for the Frenchman. And look at this. Barsha up in the second. And look at Tomac. He's right there, too. Is he getting into third? He's going to squeeze off Baggett and take over that third place spot, Jeff. Chains. Muscan turned a 206 flat. That was absolutely flying. We're back. Great racing. Oh, and I think the 12 of Baggett, yes, has caught the side of the racetrack. Shugel. Will Hahn has gotten around him, so that'll put Hahn into fifth and Baggett back to sixth. Uh oh, here's uh, Baggett to the inside. Hahn going to try to square back up, go from outside to inside. Same turn once again, Baggett. Wow, almost goes down. Riders up inside the top four battling two. Immediately won a uh, moto, so this would be a big breakthrough for him. Uh-oh, Baggett has caught the tail end of and catch the leader, Muscat. Whoa, there goes Borsha! Takes the lead. Muscat tries to score. Hill, watch this roller right here. You get the power to the ground. I believe Muscat has done it on this hill. And that's the kind of game that Justin Barsha likes to play. He'll get aggressive if he needs to. Mentality's different. Uh-oh, and I believe Tomac's got to run through the hoopties. He puts Muscat up on the outside, beats him to the exit of the corner, and bag it off the left-hand side of your screen right here. Wow, the bike was all twisted. Out of style, the way that he flicks the bike around. Sometimes he lets his, lets his uh, feet off the pay. And Justin Barsha wins the first moto at Washougal. Oh, he's happy about that one. Big mistakes in this moto. It cost him sixth place finish. That's going to be tough to get an overall. The boys, they go one, two. Justin Barsha and Eli Tomac had to make some moves to get there. And Barsha's got himself another good start here. Looks like he's going to edge out Baggett as they power up horsepower hill. Moto one, whole shot. Deficit yep. in the championship. That's some serious motivation. 
Rodriguez going around the outside of Bogle. Wow. How do you pass running? But Bogle says, you're not going to see it happen. I'm going to stop this. And he shuts the door on the back and has the momentum. It is wheel to wheel and Baggett able to secure it. Wednesday, leading up to opening ceremonies Friday on NBC. Yes. Said that this is a hard track to pass on. Whoa. We may find out here in just a second. Yeah. I thought Baggett, or sorry, I thought Marsha might have Baggett covered in every game. And look at the speed that wow. Baggett has right through that one section. If he's over him, fans are starting to react here, hanging off the fences. They're liking what they're seeing. Jason, it is so... Oh, here he, he goes. goes. The pass goes to the inside. Water there, and Baggett really starting to pour it on. He wants this Moto win, and he wants the points. Back Downhill, where Baggett has tremendous speed. Here it is. This is where Baggett was able to close. Barsh has got to find a line, and he does. That's the Bam Bam we expected. He ran the wheels in on. Left riders on the outside. Oh, Both Barsha. riders get held up. This class, Blake Baggett wins. Moto number two here at Washougal. Washougal, two wins on the year for the number 20. But you can see that he just won the overall. Yeah, right? <laughs> strange how that works in the, the overall. He still edges his teammate Tomac by five overall points. Baggett salvages a third able to get around Muskan. He was not. And that allowed Baggett to get away and challenge Barsha. Here are your series. Tends to go down a little bit, trying to get that speed. Here it's going to be really important to get a start. Here we go. Baggett beats everyone into the first turn, but goes wide, and I think it's going to be what? Zach Bell. Not sure who that was. That uh, They started third, and he's uh, riding that 11 10 mods bike. He hears Will Hahn right wow. there yelling, waving his hand. See this? Uh, Bogle in the number 11 spot. Tomac is fourth, but the question is, where is Barsha? Times it, it seems like he... Oh, oh, big mistake there by Muscan. Down his teammate Bell, who has a five-second lead here. That means Zach Bell today to keep that alive. And this is going to be the real test for Bell here. Yeah. The uh, amateur ranks are good for about that. And then they get past that and they did... Big changes here at Southwick live coverage here on Fuel TV. And Tomac gets to the inside of Bell. Bell knows he's there, chooses to go wide instead of trying to win. It's not going to get any easier as the day goes on. <laughs> yeah, remember, this, yeah, that's going to help him big time. Eli Tomac takes the win with a big margin. Results of Moto 1, Baggett third, Roxon and Nelson holds off uh, Stewart to finish fifth. Stewart then needs a start. Nelson on the 136 gonna grab the it's gonna be uh, fifth Ken Roxon takes over second from back at Tomac some big hitters right behind him Oh Tomac goes down Moto earlier today Roxon going to the inside that's the lead making it happen got the points leader breathing down his neck right now uh, around the outside Oh, comes down, he hits the tree there, he, wow. this line. He was down by three seconds, now it's 4.1, but the last time around, and a massive gap between Tomac, who crashed early in this one, who's in third. Uh-oh, battle for the lead, Jeff. Baggett has caught rocks, and we've seen this happen. Mathematically, that would give him the overall. But right. you still got Tomac, there's a little more intensity. But uh, look at the lines that he's choosing, he's just very patient, pulling up. Back is so rough right now. Here they are battling again, and like you said, if they but now he's to the inside of Roxon, and Roxon able to shut the door again. Fans, for a moment, Roxon had actually pulled away in the number one spot. It looked like he had this. By the way, our third place rider, Eli Tomac, is on the radar. He is right there in third. Two, I'm sorry, three laps at a 205. Back it was a 210. Rock, who's a rookie in this championship? Five seconds, Jeff. In fact, he just caught back. Oh, oh it goes, goes down. down in the tree. Scan. Come in with so much intensity there. Wow. Tomac gets back going. And Kawasaki get the moto win here and uh, and the overall. And turn. We've seen lots of passes in this corner. Back it to the inside. And Roxon beats Starting him. to make some moves, try some new lines. Well, that's Baggett's specialty. He usually can... Whoa, look out. They almost came together. Roxon just switched his lineup. Back it to the inside. Railing around the outside. And no. Baggett able to take the lead. And that would give him the overall. Here comes Roxon back. And Ken... Is what it's going to take to win the first moto of his career here in the loop. And he squares it again. Just able to stick that number 12. Kawasaki to Roxon around the outside. Again, Roxon doesn't give it up. Great fight for the number 70, and Baggett crosses over again. Baggett to the lead once again. Ken Roxon leads. 
basically the whole mode on Blake Baggett wins here at Southwick. He's going to deny him the overall. He ties with Baggett in points, but the tiebreaker goes to the better finish. Came in down 11. Now he's down 24. So a big day for Baggett. On the 167, a pair of rookies here taking on some of the veterans. Blake Baggett, of course. Need him into turn one. Uh, that is Zach Bell again. Zach Bell for the second week in a row. As he grabs another Moto 1 hole shot. Baggett, his starts have improved back and forth. Oh, Roxon going to the right of Baggett. They get close. Baggett off the track. He stepped over that rut, made a mistake, and now Roxon up to the number two. Learning the tracks and learning this series, and there goes Bell. I was just going to uh, when you get to this many numbers of crashes, it's just motocross, man. This is the Dilla. And here goes Muscan to the inside on Baggett. And he's got the pass. Only nine minutes have gone by so far. And Baggett has gone by Vogel. When your championship points leader, Blake Baggett, it has not happened. A tough start for Marsha. This season has gone for Ken Rocks, and he's been so close so many times. Passed on the last lap by Blake Baggett. And unfortunately for Roxon, that would begin. He spooks Ken Roxon. He takes the first moto here at Unadilla. Earlier this year, they are there really. They're challenging for you mentally. He is first as you look at your results. He's led plenty of laps this year. Now he's got a motor move. Started off right. I believe he's out front on the 20. Yes, he is. And he's got both. Archer has led more laps this season than anyone, but he sits back at the point. Positions further back. Maybe Muscan is in position to get his first win in the U.S. Oh, bad luck here for Malcolm Stewart on the uh, J-Star. Look at Tomac up the inside on the gas. Wow. So aggressive. What? You're like, hey, that was a good one. That was a good line there. Eli Tomac used the catch. Kawasaki's Blake Baggett, but Baggett has been uh, spectacular. First moto earlier today, so the chance of winning the overall for the weekend just about gone. Wait a minute. He has found the Southwick speed again. Barsha looked like he was absolutely... Whoa! Eli Tomac is now in the lead. Not sure what has happened here to Barsha. Remember, so Tomac has this moto under control because of the bad start. And the number two. Well done for the kid from Colorado. And now Muscan's going to launch in and launch out. And with that third place finish, that should be enough. They just, they just assume that they have the ability to just land All and access. hang out wherever they want. That's able to match Baggett for the day. So he came in down 24. He stays down 24. Here's our Let's fuel TV one to watch. Malcolm Stewart, 12th in the points right now. Little wheel spin there. And stuck in the gate. And into the first turn. It's one of the Kawasaki's. Blake Baggett. Barsha right behind him. Baggett has no hole shots on the year. Barsha goes around the outside for the lead. He's first motos even one, one race ago. The motivation and the many laps. He only led 51 laps to Barsha's 107, but he has led. The outside line to get around, and now Tomac as well. So Baggett, it's not just the start to get up to speed early in the races. And so he goes from first to fourth along and, and never Whoa. seems to back off it. No backing off there, they almost collide. Well, uphill jumps. And that's the area you see the off to the side of the track and scaffolding. That's like I said, little slip ups here and there. But overall, these guys, we're, we're looking at four great motorcycles. It all started for Baggett a few years ago. He was a privateer in the amateur ranks. Didn't have the factory ride lock. Eventually, able to get better support. There right. it is. Just Tomac all over Barsha. Yeah, Barsha stuffed Whoa. it. Stuffed. Gone through there with a lot of momentum. And Tomac definitely on the gas. They're side by side. And Tomac. Speed. Now Tomac's on the outside for this right-hander. Oh, Barsha running it inside, and Tomac takes the long way around to get the lead. Oh, you can tell it's not sitting well. Back. Now the crowd really responding here at Steel City. Yeah. Off. Now he triples back up this. Let's see if he can pull away from Barsha, or if Barsha can actually percent the whole time. It's like you never really see him out there cruising. It's like he's going to most down the stretch, and he takes the moto win here at Steel City. Barsha finished second. Ken Roxon, there's championship spoiler, finishes in front of your points leader, Blake Baggett. One of the Yamaha riders out front, it is the rookie. Zach Bell got a couple hole shots when he made his debut, and now Martin has the opportunity to run up front. A rider out front. And for a while. Tomac trying to, try to go to the inside, make short work of this, and take off. Where is your points leader, Blake Baggett? Yeah, this could be another opportunity for the Honda boys to do some damage spots back. 
And we're still looking for Baggett. There he is, able to pick him out with that red number plate. Jeremy Martin right there, one, one lap ago he had the lead. So Baggett, both riders, Bogle stays in it. Look at the lean angle, that section of the track at the points difference for the day. Not only would Tomac obviously win the overall by winning both motos today. You can do this, you can make this happen. Don't give up, keep focusing, keep working hard. Better for Eli Tomac, the kid out of Colorado, wins here at Steel City. And today he will lose 14 points to Tomac. And you know how many points ahead of Tomac? Steel City National, Roxon second behind Tomac. And Marsha Baggett, Muscan, no surprise. The next weekend, Tomac down by 14, Marsha down by 18, and even Roxon still mathematically has a the shot. Final round of the Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Championship. Here's our one to watch in this moto. A rookie look at the weather here. 96 degrees. And I think that's Muscan and the Red Bull KTM going to grab the whole shot with Barsha on the number 20. Spoilers. And Muscan might be at the top of the spoiler list. Won the overall a few weeks ago at Unadilla. Barsha's teammate. And there's a scenario. Han battling with Baggett. And Baggett not wasting. Ration isn't there. And Whoa, sorry to interrupt, but there goes Barsha past Muscan into the lead. Between first and tenth, which about to screw it with your tenth fastest qualifier. As Tomac goes around the outside. The co-owners of that team, Jeff Myshak earlier today, he credits Han actually for helping create that atmosphere as Tomac. This is the Baggett that it, these type of rides is worthy of being the champion. I just seen I just seen Baggett winning this motos, but at the end of the moto, it's like that intensity, that aggressiveness. He's getting close. He's taking a little bit of roost and look right there in the top left of your screen. Eli Tomac. Tomac to close up. It doesn't have to close up much. It's only about two seconds between them. Not not with the lap move on Barsha as they come over side by side, Stop. and that's going to put Baggett into the number one spot. Here we go. He's got a shot at it. Dancing down to the inside, cuts across on the break. Tomac's right there. Yeah, if you can't win, take well, seven. No, it allows Tomac, they're playing a little cat and mouse. Oh, right. After Baggett, now we could be entering another scenario where the two teammates have to start duking it out for second. Run on Barsha here, trying to go around the outside. It's going to become the inside. Barsha slams the door. Obviously, see this. Oh, he gets him. What? Wow. Where was that line? Yeah, I didn't even see that. Back in uh, heading into Moto2, and I'll give you another huge advantage. The tiebreaker for the championship is Moto wins. We are back, and we've got a race in our hands for the lead. Unbelievable in one lap. Eli Tomac. Tomac just seems to be finding some lines. He has really got a rhythm here. It's down in the championship. Second does you no good. Well, this begs the question. Everyone watching this is possible scenario heading into Moto2. In the clutch. Blake Baggett. The Geico Honda guys did, uh, were unable to actually go to the podium. They went straight back to the pits. Let's go, Let's go racing for the last time this year. And it's Barsha again. No, I think he's going to get edged out by one of the elite. Well, uh, Barsha's strength this year has been his starts right here. We found him, I'd say, about seventh place. And here is Baggett, who be just outside of him. As you watch Baggett, it yes, it was. It was Tomac. Oh. And that probably is going to do it. Get caught up in their battle because these two are going at it. Yeah, that's it gets. It, it, it's it's crazy. Warden. There he's got. Yeah, wow. he gets around the outside of Ward. Looks like he's going to get him right here. Nice move there. A little to frustrated. The yeah. Okay, so he's been there before. He's won championships on the on the uh, professional. Baggett is trying to find the line here on uh, Martin. There he goes. Especially right. in the sands of Southwick, which he loves the sand. And that was one of the... He did not have a good day. Consequently, he fell back at the championship points. Let's talk... Here. Much improved in his second year. Who knows? A year or two down the line. A guy like Anderson there in that right hander. That might get back at the opening he needs. Whoa. Man, did he come in. I think the track and the... Oh, back it! Baggett goes down. That is the Anderson. Anderson, he's been tough to pass today. These two guys, Christophe Forcell, yeah. had the championship in hand. And he crashed it away. Similar scenario. Oh, they square it up. There he goes to the inside. And he's got Muscan covered. So, pretty good. He's going to be here for a lot of years. Cool little bench race session on the right side. In the, I'm in the moment right, right. now. I've, He's, He's going to have enough. Justin Barsh is going to win the moto here, but the championship, the first ever of his professional motocross career, is to win for the Monster Pro Circuit Kawasaki team. Great sportsmanship between those two. Of MX Sports and, and AMA Pro Racing, Pro Motocross Championship, number one plate for the 250 class. And as Kevin Crowther said for the AMA, he did prove he could do it under pressure. First moto, I was really, really impressed with him. He came back. Yeah. 
family, friends, Marvin Muscan giving him the high five. Well, I think I reflect on this season just as a hard-fought season. Didn't get the championship, a little bummed on that. But so happy with my Geico Honda team. They did such a great job this year. I'm proud of everyone, I'm definitely, but I'm pumped. And uh, wish I could have a championship, but we're going to move on 450 and keep fighting for one. Dave Arsha coming up two points short of Baggett, who will collect his fifth win of the year. Muscan Honda.